Welcome to London Climate Action Week 2020. This week, we're harnessing the power of London's global networks, bringing together ambitious thinkers and doers to tackle the tough problems and push forward the frontiers of global climate action. This week, we'll be hosting over 200 events covering a huge diversity of issues. From reforming the global finance system to youth activists tackling climate justice, from building a sustainable London to restoring nature globally, from understanding the impact of the American elections to tackling the mental health issues raised by the climate crisis. This diversity really reflects London's richness and its huge global reach. Our mission is clear. London Climate Action Week aims to build the collaboration to drive an equitable, resilient and net zero world. So now let's hear about this year's themes and from some of the people taking part. Climate change remains by far the biggest threat we face today. And I believe we all have a responsibility to step up and do what we can to tackle this generational challenge. As we seek to recover from COVID-19, we can't risk replacing one public health emergency with another. We need to emerge from this crisis, embracing a new normal that puts halting climate breakdown and creating green jobs at the heart of everything we do. Delivering a green, fair and resilient recovery is absolutely crucial for climate action. If we get this right, we can create enormous opportunities for new forms of employment, sustainable activities that get us back into full employment very quickly and drive us forward into a new and a much more attractive and sustainable and inclusive form of growth. The battle against climate change will be won or lost in cities. London's commitment to climate action on the global stage is absolutely pivotal. London's already perceived as a world leader, working collaboratively with other cities. We can go fast alone, but we can go so much further together. The pathways to net zero are the same pathways to prosperity. There are no intellectually coherent, scientifically supported high carbon routes to growth. So we need investment, both public and private, in the transition from our petro economy to an electro economy that will provide sustainable, clean, green jobs across every sector. Devolved nations have to work together and UK government needs to work together with devolved nations with one clear vision in reducing emissions because no devolved nation has all the powers to make the difference. We all have to work together, we all have to sing from the same hymn sheet and that's about reducing carbon and other greenhouse gas emissions um, across the UK. The Glasgow COP needs to demonstrate the strength of global solidarity with those vulnerable communities and constituencies who are suffering the most from devastating impacts of climate chaos through solid commitments and actions to make significant and meaningful emission reductions in line with the Paris target of 1.5 degrees C. At the London Climate Action Week, we'll be discussing the green recovery and how to ensure that it delivers um, thriving and just societies through putting climate, nature and poverty at the very heart. With one year to go until the next UN Climate Conference, COP26 in Glasgow next November, the roadmap to get there has become a bit uncertain. So this roadmap to COP26 theme at London Climate Action Week is going to bring our London climate community together to discuss and debate the actions that need to be taken over the next 12 months so that we make sure we have maximum climate progress and action out of that COP26 summit in Glasgow. One of the themes of this year's London Climate Action Week is how to achieve a net zero carbon London. And that means uh, answering a central question, which is how to pull together all of the energy and uh, creativity and talent and innovation and uh, expertise that exists within London so that together we can uh, decarbonise our city as fast as humanly possible. London, like many cities, has declared a climate emergency and in an emergency, you mobilise. And that's why we have a whole of society mobilisation approach to London Climate Action Week. All of us in our roles as consumers, investors, makers and citizens can bend the curve away from a bleak future. 
This is what London Climate Action Week is all about. At London Climate Action Week, we're throwing the best pension party in town. We're going to be launching our project for the UK's first ever food poverty map. We're going to be sharing practical advice and guidance for businesses, charities and educators on how to really help kids from diverse backgrounds connect to and engage with climate action. We are empowering Bain Voices to lead the climate conversation. We are working to raise $10 billion every year for not-for-profit climate solutions. We're working together to help schools become more sustainable places. We're exploring the link between the food we eat, intensive animal agriculture and the climate crisis. We'll be raising awareness of the environmental impact of the digital industry. We are discussing ways in which we can face the dual challenge of flooding and climate change. We are launching the Red Cross World Disasters Report, looking at the humanitarian impact of the climate crisis affecting people right now. We're looking at how finance and a COVID-19 green recovery link to climate, nature and development. We're sharing the launch of the Let's Go Zero Schools campaign. At London Climate Action Week, we're calling all Londoners to commit to the People's Pledge to replenish Earth by 2030.